Yeah. Amp crypto is a shit coin. It's a total trash bucket. Amp crypto is garbage and it moves slow. It's the slowest moving coin out there. This is the stuff that I'm hearing, man. And just to be clear, I'm being sarcastic. I'm telling you about comments that other people are saying like, because it doesn't move like the meme coins they think is a shit coin. Okay. So we're going to go over the definition of a shit coin in this video. The other day, you guys liked the video about AMP is trash, where we expose the people that believe AMP is trash. So we got to get into this today and see exactly what type of chemical imbalance people have. Okay. So keep watching guys. I'm about to share my screen with you right now. And we're going to go over, what a damn shit coin is excuse my language i don't even like the curse like that but you know um we got to get to it okay all right so here we are we're over here so maybe they think it's a crap coin because it's down 6.84 percent today over here on the daily charts this is coin market cap just in case you don't know it'll be down if you go to any of the other exchanges as well but like I said in the other video, if you know anything about AMP and Flexa, then you'll know that this chart is irrelevant. You'll know that this means nothing. This is for you quick flippers, you get rich quick coin getters, okay? AMP is not one of those. You don't just invest, buy during a dip and then wait for a peak and then try to hurry up and sell and, and all of that frantic, um, I need $5 tomorrow type crap. No, we don't do that, okay? The empire are holders, okay? Because this coin, as long as you guys continue to pump, the community continues to pump and not celebrities, not um, you know, uh, influence or something like that, this coin will stand the test of time and it will be there once cash is gone, okay? And that's my prediction. I don't need to give you some type of daily chart price prediction because because this stuff does not matter. Of course, it's going to reach a dollar. When? We don't know for sure. I say by the end of the year for sure. I see $5 coming very soon, okay? But we're going to get over here. It was a question asked on a forum, a uh, Reddit forum. I don't even like Reddit for real to tell you the truth. But this guy isn't, you know, he's not insinuating like others that have so blatantly said that AMP is a crap coin just because it's not doing the peaks and valleys and all of that extra stuff all super fast, like a Doge coin or something like that. This is a strong coin. Okay, let me hold, hold on. Let me plug in my, my uh, freaking, sorry, the guys. Keep watching, don't, you know, I know we got short attention spans and you see something in the related section right now. Just hold on. We can't be goldfish. All right, hold on. All right. Okay, so we read this brother's uh, question, right? He says, so every other coin, be crap coin or not, moves like a heartbeat. Price goes up, price goes down, constantly in a state of flux. So do you guys understand what's going on here? You're being conditioned by these freaking charts over here. So when everything is not rocky road up and down, roller coaster, rocky road without the ice cream, you think it's something wrong. Okay. Uh, all right. So look. All right. So he said every other one, the price goes up and goes down constantly in a state of flux, which shows some sort of life. You, do you see the indicators that people are looking for? People are judging the success of a, of a currency based off of if a chart is moving up or down. That is not how you're supposed to base the life of a currency, okay? Real world application is where you need to be paying attention to. How many places is this being accepted in? Okay, is the mass adoption moving forward? That's exactly what you need to be paying attention to, not <laughs> the chart. The chart does not matter in the real world. The chart only matters to you traders online that are trying to get $15 every couple minutes, okay? But the ones that are going to make the millions and more are the ones that are smart enough to buy and hold into a coin that promises mass adoption through real world application. Those are the ones that are going to profit big. You might get a couple hundred, maybe even a couple thousand. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm not saying you can't make no money, um, you know, buying and selling and swapping and being all frantic panic selling and freaking having ADHD. Come on, man. Ain't nobody got all day for that. Get a real business going and then take the little bit of change you got, 
throw it into this stuff and don't even pay attention to it until cash is overturned. Then come back through here and see how much you got, right? All right, so he says, if it's going up and, side, up and down, it's hot. So I, you know, I'm in Mexico right now, okay? All right, so he said, that shows some sort of life. It says, has been straight lined for at least a week. So basically, since it reached a constant uh, or a consistency point, in his mind, Amp Crypto is dead. Do you see how sad it is where when something is consistent, we think it's dead? This is why everybody is broke because we hop around, we got shiny object syndrome and we are expecting the peaks and valleys. We want that type of stuff. We have ADHD. We, get, we don't know how to like be consistent. So when you can find a coin that can be consistent instead of being instead of being turned off by it that's the one that you might should look into a little bit more you know what i'm saying as long as when it rises it steadies out that's a good thing why would it be good for it to go down like i mean why do you want it to go down just so it can go up again and stuff see you guys are learning from day traders and, and you're learning look you have to go into this, any, any type of trading, any type of investing, I'll say, look at it as if it's um, a startup company, okay? And this is not, I'm talking the third person because I don't want you guys to invest using, you know, try to come back and give me or whatever, blah, 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 whatever. I can't give investment advice. This is just a YouTube channel. I'm not your financial advisor, but I can advise you to become financially free using the free resources like loans and credit repair in the description of this video so you can leverage other people's assets like a real investor. So check that out anyway. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, treat it as if it's a startup company. Quit it. Quit trying to get your return in like three days, you know what I'm saying? Or 30 minutes, Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Like a real business, okay? Like treat it like a real business. You watch Shark Tank, you watch all of those, those are real businesses. They put money into it and they don't even think about it for like five years maybe. If they get a quick return, then that's awesome but you don't expect that out of real business. See, the problem is a lot of these coins are just some made up stuff and don't have any backing behind it, no real life usage, no um, infiltration into the real fabric of society. So if it's not moving on the charts, it's nothing special about it. So in my opinion, majority of the coins are crap coins. The only ones I pay attention to are the ones that have real life usage. Them, those are the only ones. I don't care what Elon is tweeting out. He playing y'all. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care if you can just use it to buy a damn Tesla. What about the people that want a Hyundai? All right, you need mass adoption. I need to be able to buy tissue, food, all of that. So the coins that are going after the real world stuff, buying apartments, buying clothes, buying freaking furniture, buying, I'm uh, paying my hospital bills, whatever. Those are the ones that will stand the test of time. Instead of you keep getting rug pulled, instead of you keep getting played, instead of whales keep on manipulating the system and you getting, you're losing your money, you pay attention, you read the white papers, okay? You look at the roadmaps. If the, the coins make sense, logical sense, if they really have a mission or a cause behind them, then those are your best bet. I mean, everything is a risk because if you're not part owner or owner of the business, you can't control whether or not, you know, it's going to be full success. But the good thing about these tokens, especially AMP, these are our community coins. So if we stop looking for whales or, 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 or influencers or celebrities to pump the market, and if we start going door to door to these freaking businesses and freaking mob style, mafia style, hey, except amp crypto here then it will start to move the needle then maybe you don't have to wait so long okay so let's get back to it i'm sorry i'll be ran right okay so it said no movement at all <laughs> look what he's looking at look, look look at what he's looking for please let me know in the comments tell me that you are not one of these people that are only like hype off of amp if it's in the news you got to be smarter than that, man. With all of these cryptos, this is 
it's been in the dark for so many years. It's just now being uh, 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 publicized and coming to the light. So how come all of a sudden the value of these cryptocurrencies are based off of public notoriety? That shouldn't be why it's valuable. Okay. All right. So he says no movement at all. Zero news, zero tweets. Even this Reddit feed has died down. <laughs> Okay, so he said, don't get angry. I know lots of people are hodling for their life. So am I. I'm just curious what's keeping your hopes alive. This is sad. I'm real sad, guys. I'm real sad. And the reason why I'm looking at this and reading this publicly, because I know there's a lot of people going to watch this that's in this brother's same position. Like, I'm not, like, mad at him or anything. I'm mad at how all of these influencers and all these retards as so-called rich as hell have you guys idolizing these cryptocurrencies. Now, you get in the gang, yeah, you know what I'm saying, but you don't idolize it. Amp is good to go, but you need to have something else in your life going too. He looked like he will jump off of a dang on cliff if the needle don't move or if it don't be some peak or valley or dip or something. You know what I'm saying? Like... He, if he can't sell, swap, or buy, it seems like it's all over for him, okay? I hope this ain't you, man, okay? If you amp gang, you still have to be smart gang, right? Okay, so you say, I know a lot of people are huddling for their life. So am I. I'm just curious what keeps your hopes alive. <laughs> Every other crypto is in the news, including Doge. If Flex and Amp are so great, listen to this, man. I can't believe this is public. It's okay to ask questions. Even a genius asks questions, right? Come on, man. All right. So he said, if Flex and Amp are so great, why does it feel so dead? The reason it feels so dead is exactly what you said up here. Every other crypto is in the news. And then, like, all of them fall. All of them flop. Every week I'm doing one. I'm doing it because it's trending just to get more people in the gang, right? So I bring more attention to the channel, right? Some of them are cool. They're cool. You hear me? Cool, but that doesn't mean they're good investments. Dire Wolf from freaking uh, Game of Thrones. A lot of these cool coins created for certain platforms are not going to get mass adoption. We have to use our logic, man. Something created for Xbox. Xbox is a crypto for Xbox. You can buy all the Xbox games, Xbox. But that's not going to take over the freaking world. Amp is good. Emacs, in my opinion, even though it's been down on those charts, are good because of the real world application. It's, it has nothing to do with the charts. Where can it be accepted publicly if I don't have cash on me? Do you guys understand that? I mean, are we forgetting that we got to go grocery shopping for our grandmothers and our moms? All right. I can't go grocery shopping with a Game of Thrones coin. I can't go grocery shopping with a, a, a freaking coin that I could just purchase a, a, a porn with. I can't. Do you, do you guys understand? So it's fun, and you do, those are quick flips. You can get into those to get a quick couple dollars and stuff, but quit losing your life over these things, you know? The ones that you're really supposed to take serious are the mass adoption hopefuls. No matter what the freaking, uh, 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 freaking roller coaster chart over here says, okay? So look, all right, so let's finish it out, man, because I got stuff to do, y'all, and I know y'all got stuff to do too. And if you want your black belt, you want your half a job black belt, I want you to do a gently side kick to the like button so many times that that mug get a black eye, man. Do a freaking Conor McGregor style before he broke his leg, spinning back kick to the subscription button. Let's get your half a job black belt, man. We need to share the hell out of this, all right? All right, so look at the, look at the, um, the ignorance of it, okay? People need to be educated. I'm not a crypto pro for sure. All right, but I own businesses, I know investing. And this type of behavior and thinking 
should not be allowed, all right? And that's because of miseducation of a lot of these YouTubers. I put 2,000 in and made 100,000 yesterday. All of these titles and all that dumb stuff right there is getting people to take their last paychecks and throw it in there. And then when the coin stops trending, they lose everything. Or they panic sell before anything good can happen. Come on, all right? So it said you really cannot get interest up or people in, to invest in something that looks stagnant on arrival. Well, let me tell you this. When I look into an investment, whether that's crypto or a startup company or, or anything, I'm looking at the mission. I'm looking at the, uh, the supply and demand. Is there a need in the market for what that company has, okay? And being that AMP is flexa, and this payments and the world is turning digital and we all, we'll all need to be using cards and debit cards and there won't be any papers soon and all of that. Like how does this not have a need in the market? How can this even be dead when they're literally infiltrating through the system like the freaking T-virus, all right? They're literally like every exchange is using uh, uh, AMP. All right, then offline stores and everything is starting to implement flexible payments. Okay, so I'm saying, like, how could it be dead? How can it be a crap coin? Okay, so he, like, like I said, he didn't say it was a crap coin. He said, he, he kind of compared it to a crap coin. He didn't call it a crap coin, but he's saying that it moves like a crap coin. So, I mean, if it moves like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it's a, so basically from this, I can get that since it's not being tweeted out, it's not in the news. Um, it's, it's steady, consistent. Seems like a crap coin, right? That's pretty much what I'm getting from it. What are you guys getting from it? Let me know in the comments, man. What are you guys getting from this? Now, I'm not trying to get you guys to attack anybody. Let me see. Let me make sure he's anonymous. Okay, violinist antique okay yeah so don't go and like jack them up and hunt them down on some fair street part two type stuff that part three coming on tonight hey y'all gonna watch that but anyway don't do all that you know it's all right like like i said i don't know everything i'm pretty sure you're watching this right now you don't know everything we all gotta learn but when it comes to investments like if you want to make smart investments the roi shouldn't the immediate ROI should be the last thing you're focused on. If you get an immediate ROI, that's cool. All right. That's bonus. But the lifetime value of something is what you are supposed to be mainly focused on. And the lifetime value, as long as crypto is moving up as an actual thing, I'm not talking about any specific crypto, as long as crypto is becoming the new currency period, I believe AMP, will stand the test of time and probably be the, the driving force of cryptocurrency before it's all said and done. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I really, you know, I like to own businesses or joint venture in actual local businesses. Crypto is a, a hobby side extra thing to just be in to get extra earnings long term, not even paying attention to it. Okay, like you should not be like putting your life in danger and looking like you're gonna jump off of a cliff if this damn daily chart don't move or if it, if it goes down. I don't care if it goes 43% down. If the business of AMP and Flexa is still doing good, what is it to complain about? This is gonna go back up. It, it, they, just, they just do, man, okay? All right, so don't, cry a river with the Justin Timberlake voice, okay? Don't do that, man, all right? So like I said, if you want your ever job black belt, go ahead and do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button and a before the broken leg spinning back kick kind of McGregor style to the subscription button. And when that bell pops up, it's not dinner time. It's not the end of a fight round. Uh, school is not out, all right? It is letting you know that I just uploaded or went live and I want you to check it out, okay? All right, so if you're new to the channel, do all of those things I just named and I will see you in the next one, Laura's Will. All right, let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Let's get it going.